Okay, uh, so we have mentioned the GCS and also TCS, and also especially for PCS, uh, it's a little bit complicated because we are trying to tear down the 3D globe into a two-dimension map. Um, and there are several uh, ways that we can do that. So like we can choose different surface type and we can also choose the uh, which feature we want to preserve. So we don't need to discuss all the features. We can choose to keep the distance or the area or the angle or the shapes. So that may sound like a, <laughs> a little bit complicated. So there are so many uh, protected coordination systems. Uh, so how can I choose one? Well, the answer is that actually there are two um, very common PCS that we, I have been used a lot. Uh, so the first one is called the Universal uh, Transverse Mercato System, or UTM for short. So basically, that is a, a PCS system that uh, projected each part of the world um, into different zones. And you can choose your start area. So based on you know, where your start area is located, you can choose that specific zone. And then the, uh, the, your data will be projected by using that zone, and your data will have the least distortion. OK, uh, so for example, so if you say you want to, uh, your, your start area is in the Washington state, so that is roughly here. And then you just check, okay, which zone it is located. So you can say, okay, it is in the north zone 10. So that is a north 10. Okay. Uh, by the way, you can Google this uh, map. Uh, north zone 10. And you can just choose, okay, I want to project my start area uh, in the U with UTM zone north 10. And then your start area will have the least distortion. Okay, and if your start area is in other places, you just you can just simply check which air, which zone your your start area is located, and you choose that specific UTM zone. So that's your first very common commonly used PCS. Uh, the second one that is for United States only is called State Plan Coordinate System or SPC. So that means that that is only for United States. So for United States, for each single state, um, they divide each single state into one or two or several uh, sub-regions. And you again, you can just choose, okay, which area your start area is located, which region it is located, and you can choose that state uh, plan coordinate system. So for example, uh, if we are looking at Virginia, all right here. So Virginia has two zones. One is in the north and one for the south. And if we have a project that is talking about uh, the data in Harrisonburg, and we know that Harrisonburg is about here. So that is in the north part of Virginia. So what you can do is that you can project uh, the Harrisonburg. If you are using the SPC, you just find out the north Okay, Virginia. Okay, so North Virginia of the state plan uh, coordinate system, and you choose that one as your PCS, and then uh, your data will have the least distortion. Okay, so those are the two commonly used PCS. One is called UTM, and one is called SPC. And uh, if you are interested, you can just Google online. You can check, okay, so what are the technical details, like which surface they have been used and also which feature they have preserved. Of course, there are a lot of other types of the coordination systems, um, but as an introduction class, I think for PCS, you just need to remember those two most commonly used ones. One is UTM and one is SPC. Okay, uh, so we know that uh, spatial data is special because they are representing the locations on the Earth. Um, and we need the coordination system, so we want to make sure that uh, for the same place, on the same locations, from different data set, when we import those from different data set in GRS, 
and they can still match with each other. So that's why we have those two types of coordination system. Uh, the first one is called GCS, so that is a geographic coordinate system. So that is based on the latitude and longitude. So that's why the degree, the unit is in degree. The second one is projected coordination system. So the unit is can be meters, miles, kilometers, etc. Um, but when we should, which one we should use? Well, um, for most of data set in GIS, you can have both. But there's a preference that uh, we always prefer use PCS. Okay, so the reason is pretty uh, straightforward. That is because for GCS, because that is based on the latitude and longitude on the 3D models, so it is hard to measure distance and area. So that will be less accurate, less accurate. For PCS, because we projected that one into two dimensions, so although there are distortions, although there are distortions, when you choose the right PCS, uh, the measurement in terms of the distance and areas will be more accurate than GCS. Okay, so once you choose the right PCS, okay, the accurate the accuracy will be higher than the GCS. Okay. Uh, so that is why that uh, later on when we learn uh, some spatial analysis in GRS, you will see that a lot of geospatial analysis, they require PCS. So they, requ they require that data must, data set must contain PCS. So PCS must be defined. Uh, when we use GCS is when display data that uh, we can display data that is based on the latitude and also longitude. Okay, so for example, we have the GPS data and the GPS data when you connect it with most with the GPS devices, uh, in most cases they will just provide you the, the data points that contain latitude and longitude. So in that case, you can only display the data by using a GCS, so geographic coordination system. However, uh, so if you can, always use PCS if possible. So PCS is always preferred. Okay. Uh, so what if the data set does not contain any coordination system? So uh, it is possible. Uh, uh, so especially for example, if you have a um, a table or CSV file that has a, a latitude longitude, so those are non-spatial data, and we convert that one into GRS, so initially there is no GCS. So in that case, you need to define the GCS, you need to define the coordination tool. So in ArcGIS, there's there is a tool called Define, which you can define a GCS for any data set uh, whose coordinate is missing. Okay, uh, so we will see that one uh, in the next week's lab. Um, and also, as I said, that the PCS is always preferred. So what if that you have a data set that only has GCS, but you want to run some spatial analysis which require PCS? So in that case, you can use the project tools that in RxGIS. So the project tool will calculate a new PCS for the data set that has that only contains GCS. So if the data that only contains GCS, you can project the data to give the data set a PCS. Or if you want to recalculate a new PCS based on data that already has PCS and also GCS. Okay. So those are the two tools that can are most commonly used to handle coordination systems uh, in ArcGIS. Okay, uh, so those are a little bit abstract right now, but when we are doing the labs, so you will see that will make a lot of sense.